Hey Gearheads, Chris with GearReport.com. Today I'm out in the backcountry and I wanted to show you what's behind me. The Lightheart Gear Firefly. Okay, let's talk about the light hard gear, Firefly, with awning. Let's see what they have to say about it. Light heart listed as a three season hybrid, double single wall. Double wall, meaning there's an attached bug, there's the bug net to the vestibules. Single wall, the front and the back has no bug net. So it's just strictly the sill nylon. On my and they say it sleeps one and a half. You'll see on the inside that there's plenty of room for one person and the gear that they're bringing with them. It's at about 34 and a half ounces on my scale, and that includes the tent, the awning pole, five carbon fiber stakes, and the plastic ridge pole that you saw when I put it up. It does not include my trekking poles because I need my trekking poles to hike with, so I don't include those in part of the base weight they'd be with me if I was in a hammock anyway. Headroom is 45 inches. As you see, you'll see when we go in, that's more than adequate for a person of my size at six feet tall. Uh, there is one pocket on the inside. There are two doors, one on the awning side, one on the other vestibule side. So you've got a front door and a back door if you need it. Floor area is 26 and 0.8 square feet. The vestibules are an additional three and a half square feet. Uh, floor dimensions, it's 105 inches long by, 50, by 55 inches wide at the widest point and 30 inches at the foot. Head end comes to a point, so I guess that's zero inches. Uh, materials 30 denier, ripstop nylon. Pole length is 130 centimeters. So I guess that when I review a piece of gear, there's always something that causes a learning curve whether it's the angle of a hammock whether it's the tautness of a rain fly with the light heart gear firefly with awning the only thing that i can come up with that requires a learning curve is the length of your trekking poles being 130 centimeters when you set it up i've not had that problem because i use 130 centimeter fixed length trekking poles yay me when i hike so they're always at that length so I've not found any kind of learning curve setting this tent up. It is by far the easiest trekking pole tent I've ever had to set up. And it's also the easiest stand, um, standing tent pole, double walled, conventional dome tent that I've ever had to set up. This thing goes up in a flash and it comes down just as easy when you see at the end of the video do have a heck of a view outside from the inside and I'll show you that when we go inside as well <sighs> a little bit of drawbacks I wish there were more storage areas or glasses they fit in the side pocket with my cell phone I'd like to have just up top just a little loop that I could loop glasses or a headlamp in just something just a little bit more storage I know it's kind of nitpicky, but I'd like an awning on the other side as well. Or at least the opportunity to switch them back and forth. Um, it's very, very minor, but due to the size of the zippers, I would recommend getting the additional zipper pulls from Lightheart Gear, which they offer, or crafting your own. Mine didn't come with them, and after the first night, first thing I did the next morning in my backyard was I created 12 zipper pulls for it. The seam sealing that Lightheart Gear did, it, they didn't just lay some seam tape across, some silicone tape across the seams and call it a day. They actually painted on the tape, which gets the silicone into the grooves, and they painted it on from the outside, not the inside. So it's where it needs to be. It was a little tacky when I got it, but I left it out a day or two to air out, and after that, it's fine. All right, now that we've got it set up, let's do a quick walk around. The ridge vent gives you great ventilation up top. Bring the single side down. 
to the 10 inch carbon stays and dual guy lines. And that's on both sides of the foot end. Around to the vestibule side. Taped in down to the guy line, the line lock. And then around to the head end, which has a five inch carbon fiber stay. And again, the dual guy lines. Now, of this awning, which I absolutely adore, you got a couple different layouts that you can make it go away in fair weather. The best of which, in my opinion, is leaving it completely zipped up. You got three rollback points, one at the top center and then one for the head end as well as the one for the foot end. So let's see if I can do this one-handed. Pop that loose. Pop that one loose and it'll still stay held up. Pop the center one loose and it will roll out. Then roll it out so it goes to the stay. And with the storm mode, and I really don't think I can do this one handed, but they include a micro beaner. And each side has one, two, three connection points. And what you do, you bring all three connection points together, carabiner it in, and it will stay. I've got a picture below in the gear report written article that shows it in that configuration. But once you get it down, you just take the carbon fiber stay, run it through the grommet as I did in the setup video, get it to the distance out you want it, and then just tension your guy line. This gives you an enormous space underneath, both to set gear that you want out of the elements and keep somewhat dry, as well as it gives you a really good view of the outside from the in. Inside. It is a single person tent. I do have, let me put this between my feet. I do have plenty of room to stretch out. There is room to move around. I've got from head from here to out of frame of head space. I mean, I'm sitting up straight as an arrow and there's plenty of headroom space. Laying down, slide down a little bit, get on the pad. You can see I'm not at all claustrophobic. I'm not at all touching the bug net, touching the single wall construction. And in this configuration, there's my feet. So we are a good ULA pack of space from my 6-1 frame to the end of the tent. So there's really no concerns of touching. I mean, I have to pick my foot off, off the uh, Big Agnes air pad just to get to the rain fly. So for a one person tent, yeah, there's plenty of room in here for one person and their gear. I am inside the Firefly and one of my complaints about trekking pole tents or any tent with a vestibule is how much of a stretch you have to do just to close the zipper line. I barely bent over to make that happen.